Military personnel and security agents are some of the biggest casualties in the war on terrorism waged in the last few years. The fallen servicemen leave behind spouses and loved ones who have to get on with their lives, sometimes with little or no support. My security operatives who die in the line of duty in Nigeria. A federal lawmaker, Senator Abba Moro, is sponsoring a bill which will create a support fund for families of security personnel killed in service. The bill receives the support of his colleagues. 2021. The main intent of this bill, Mr. President, is to, among other things, establish a fund to be known as the Families of Fallen Service Men Support Fund, into which shall be paid all monies prescribed under the bill and monies received as donations, bequeaths, trusts and contributions for the welfare of families of members of the armed forces and operatives of other security agencies who die in the line of duty, including the combat and non-combat duties. My support for this bill, Mr. President, is because of the necessity for people who take bullets for all of us, for people who make sure that we are all safe, should be shown the deserved respect and love and care. Those against any that have the Senate passes the bill through the crucial second reading and refers it to the Committee on Establishment and Public Service Matters to report back within four weeks. And development improved genetic research. The upper chamber also passes through second reading a bill for an act to amend the Police Service Commission Act to strengthen it for effective oversight of the Nigeria police force. With this amendment, the following are a few benefits the Nigerian society will have achieved. Complaint will be given a place to voice concerns outside the police, and they will be heard and treated with dispatch. This will reduce all incidences of the scenarios like the NSAS and all that. Police officers will truly be held accountable for their actions and the Reform Police Service Commission will improve the quality of the internal investigations in the police. The bill is read the second time and referred to the Committee on Police Affairs to report back within four weeks. Linda Kibi, Channels Television News.